In this video, I wanna talk about a few problems that have occurred after running those updates in my last video. I think it was my last video. Maybe it was the one before. The one where we updated uh, WooCommerce to version three, uh, updated WooZone and Kingdom. I've been having a few comments from people uh, where they said that uh, particularly the product images are being cut off uh, and stuff like that. So I'm gonna talk about that in this video. And I'm also gonna show you how to hide the cart in your header. Again, I've had a few comments where people have turned off the cart within WooZone, but it's still showing up in the header in Kingdom, which is a little bit weird. So uh, I'm gonna show you how to get rid of it. Let's go. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Thanks for watching. So yeah, I wanted to talk about the updates that we did in the last uh, WooCommerce, WooZone type video. We updated Kingdom and WooZone and WooCommerce. And I had a few comments where people have said that the images um, are cut off. And in fact, they were cut off on Boot Boutique. Uh, I just didn't notice when I was recording that video. If you go and check the video, you'll see that the boots have got like the top and the bottom missing, which is no good. So anyway, I got in touch with AA team and they just, as they usually do, just said, oh, here you go, here's a new version of Kingdom, which I've installed and it seems to fix that problem. Um, so that's good. I'll put a link to that theme on wpeagle.com, uh, but hopefully it should be available to download from Code Canyon any day now. Another problem that was mentioned in the comments uh, to that video was that the uh, gallery wasn't showing correctly. Uh, it was kind of putting a mass of images all down the bottom here and pushing everything down and making it look all untidy. Well, I'm pleased to say that the version of theme that I've just mentioned that you can download from WP Eagle also fixes that problem. As you can see, it's got a nice gallery now and you can just uh, scroll through your images just like that. So if you have been having problems after the update, do install that version. It will be available on Code Canyon soon. Uh, and you should be okay. The second thing I wanna show you in this video, in fact, the final thing is how to remove the cart from the header when you're running Kingdom. Uh, so if you turn off the cart within WooZone, uh, basically what happens is that when people view a product, rather than clicking on add to cart, they just click buy now, and then they go straight off to Amazon and there's no checkout or any of that stuff. Uh, so if you have turned that off, you probably wanna hide the cart uh, from the top of the theme, otherwise it's just a bit confusing. So let's get on the computer. It's just a little bit of CSS that we're gonna copy and paste, uh, and I'll show you how to do it. Let's go. So I'm over at Boot Boutique, which is of course the main affiliate summit that we're talking about in these videos. It was created in a tutorial I put up earlier this year. Don't worry, there is a new one coming soon. But for now, this is the site we're working with. So yeah, what I'm gonna be doing is removing this cart. Uh, as I say, if you set your website within WooZone uh, to not use the cart, this still is shown, which is a bit pointless. So I'm just gonna generate a quick bit of CSS, which I will put over on wpeagle.com. You can just simply copy and paste it from there. Uh, what I'm looking for is this one. I'm just gonna use the display non-CSS thing. There we go, it's gone. So I'm just gonna highlight that. And I've copied that to my clipboard, which is what you'll do from wpeagle.com. And then we go into um, customize. And then scroll down to the bottom, you'll find additional CSS. Scroll down to the bottom of whatever you've got in there already. And then I'm just gonna paste that in, just like that, click Save and Publish. And close that now, let's take a look. There we go, it's gone, we're all done. That brings us to the end of this video, I hope you found it useful. If you did, then please click the like button below. Uh, also, be sure to check out the support forums which are over on wpeagle.com. Uh, thanks for all the participation that you've been giving me so far. There's quite a few threads and questions and messages on there, so it's worth a look. And obviously, if you've got a question, then please post it and I'll try and answer it as well as hopefully the community helping you out. If you're not a subscriber, I'd love you to join the WP Eagle clan. Uh, to do so, please click on the eagle that's just appeared there. And if you want to be the first to know when I upload a new video, be sure to click the little bell icon uh, next to the subscribe button and you'll get emails and all sorts whenever I upload. In the meantime, if you'd like to watch something else from my channel, then here's one that I've specially selected just for you. But until next time, bye for now.